message one. Hey, it's me, not Hasslink. Uh, just wondering if you're still stuck at the surgery. Good quick. You know, I might be tempted to buy another bag of pork scratchings. <laughs> See him. How many times? We closed. Usual, huh? Extra chilly on that. Oh, I said we closed. Is it that fryer again? I'm sick of telling Dev it's dodgy. Different kind of emergency. Well, you can forget the chips then. I'll just go large on the donuts. Craig, are you deaf? I said we're short. This isn't just a kebab shop now, it's a crime scene. Knocking back regulars. Dev will go off his cake. She's not even on the table. Wait, will somebody just tell me what's going on? I was just paying for a can, that's all. She's robbing you blind, that's what. For a christening? No. No, that's all I need. Yeah. See, consistency. That's what people want. You want church. But we're one church. But you don't speak with one voice. Well, uh, numbers. No, 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 you, you, you Kate will need to know that, but I won't. Okay. It's not conscience. Yep, all right. Cheers now. Bye bye. Bye bye. So, uh, what have we seen? See, the church's appeal is dwindling. So, what do you do? You look for strength in numbers, you appease the conservatives. Yeah, the rednecks, the people who put money on your plate, and gays like me in jail. Conservative, perhaps. I am on myself, but bigots, vigilantes, never. Mm. And these clowns that wouldn't make a cake in Belfast? I mean, in Jesus' name. <laughs> you, you can't ask John to speak for Northern Ireland. Well, that debate wasn't about a cake. It was about interpretation. Freedom. Mm. Your freedom at the expense of mine. Uh, do, you, do you want another brew, John? Maybe some more biscuits? Oh, we're well, fine with this. Oh, oh that's a shame. Todd's got to go. It's squash on a Monday, isn't it, right? No, we, uh, we couldn't book a cart. I uh, think we're going to need some more wine. <laughs> Great debate. Same again, something stronger. Go for it. Not like you got anything to get up for in the morning. <laughs> That's right. It's my life ended the day I stopped working with you, didn't it? Although I'm not the one drinking on my own. Uh, let me guess, the uh, invisible woman? Leanne. She's been held up. Oh, you've been stood up. No, David and Kylie have now moved downstairs to the garage. Nope, not supposed to say that. I'm supposed to call it the annex. In fact, I'm supposed to be over there now advising on soft furnishings. Who'd keep us company? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, this may look like a bottle of beer, but it's actually a social service. <laughs> Ken. Audrey. How are you? Refreshed. I had to have a snooze to get over lunch. Oh, right. You, you've been out. Yeah, and surprisingly good it was, too. <laughs> Sit down. It's my shop. Ah, oh, who cares? I wish I'd been wine and done. Ah, no wine, but uh, lunch fit for a king. Cheese and onion pie, followed by jam tart and custard. <laughs> Bessie's three timpans. It was a thank you to the volunteer readers. Do you know, you are so good, Ken. I mean, you're really giving. Jam tart and custard. Ooh, that takes me back. <laughs> Made with her own fair hands. Like Heston Blumenthal. With bogies. Oh, Hiya. Shh. Is this your doing? Broken door handle. They're in there now. What at it? Is that a quick? No. I'm fixing the door handle, you numpty. Well, is it working? Are they getting on? She's done nothing but since minute ago, yeah? I told you, I didn't realise you were in there. Truth is. I don't know whether I'm coming or going. I mean, it's obvious why you came back. Oh, why don't you just say it? Damn! Did you see where that went? Tiny little grub screw about the size of an earring. Yeah. Don't stand on it! Well, do you want me to stand still or do you want me to look for it? I want it? you to look for it. You, you don't find screws ah. that size in... Ow! Oh, oh, you found it. Great. Oh, I made for each other. Like Judy was made for punch. And 10 plus 20 makes 30. Spot on. Told you. Check it again. I've just checked it twice. I saw it with my own eyes. 
Yeah, putting money in. Yeah, in your pocket. Right, apologise. You what? You just called Jerry a thief. Ches, I know what I saw and what I heard. Chat, bants on the street. Rubbish. Her scruffs bragging about free kebabs. What if Dev would have heard? And the older one even took one for his breakfast. Right, on Joseph's life, every bit of food... Are you going to let her talk about your son like that? I swear down, every bit of scan I've handed over today has been paid for, even down to the sachets of sauce. She's telling the truth. Fine. I'm sorry. But I heard what I heard. You don't sound very sorry. Apology accepted. We all make mistakes. You take me right for years, and I mean years. I thought they were singing, We built this city, we built this city on sausage rolls. <laughs> sausage rolls. <laughs> you have some broken skin. You won't be needing the tetanus. Well, that's something. <laughs> Anyone else wouldn't have noticed. You, you're like the princess and the pea. You're too delicate for your own good. Is that why it's taken you a whole week to pluck up the courage? Well, just say it. I want a divorce. What? You've barely said two words to me. I've just put two and two together. And made five. Divorce is the last thing on my mind. Do you want me to kiss it better? <laughs> it's sweet. <laughs> Shall I kiss it better? <laughs> oh, I get it. National Laugh at Michael Day, is it? Yeah, very funny. My sides are splitting. OK, OK, I broke the door on purpose. But you were in on it. Do you think I'm that desperate? Don't answer that. Oh, so you'd have to be desperate to want to get back with me? Oh, put your violin away, Michael. You were the one who dumped me for the Weatherfield bike. Oh, just shut up, the pair of you. Yes, OK, it was a stupid idea, but everybody knows that you belong together, including Eileen. Who'd been a long time in the wilderness before me. Michael. The bike bit was... Oh, well, look, just let it go. Just stop being so pig-headed and just tell her. You've been eating your heart out. Yeah, and you've been cranky as hell. Just say it. What's stopping us, Princess? Pride. Fear. Kiss it better. Go on. Am I seeing things? Yeah, something nice for a change. I've missed you, Mr. Rodwell. Missed you too, Mrs. Rodwell. Oh, don't mind me. Why don't we celebrate? Taj special. Extra barges. Oh, our first takeaway was from the Taj. You had Lambuna. Yeah, you had chicken korma. <laughs> I wasn't very adventurous back in the day. Yeah, well, I bet you've eaten halfway around the world since then. On takeaways, have you tasted Eileen's cooking? Um, I don't want anything, thanks. I've already eaten. All right, Michael, prawn fall, extra chilli, or extra hot vindaloo. Mm -hmm. Chicken korma. Variety is the spice of life, but all it did was make me realise that I like my curries like I like my women. Delicate and sweet. <laughs> mm. Hey, ask him out. What? Who, <laughs> she says, when she's been batting her eyelashes from the moment he walked in. Maybe I haven't. Hey, feelings creep up on you sometimes. And Ken's just come through the toughest year of his life. It's time to look up. But if he's not ready... Only one way to find out. And humiliate myself again in the process. Not if I sound him out first. I can be subtle when I want to be. Oh, ready, can you? Oh, I've got medals for it. Here we are. Uh, these are on Ken, and he insisted on getting you a double gin. There you go. Being summoned. Uh, party 15 just arrived. No rush. Finish my drink first. Ah, too sick to work, but well enough to drink. 
new boss will be pleased. Ignore him. I've just been debating wine or no wine. I want no one wine. And painkillers. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't want to drink. Well, well uh, okay, not a drink, drink, but orange juice. Water's better with tablets. No, I'm not taking them. They don't agree with me. But you must be in agony. Yeah, I am. Listen, I'm not stopping. I did want to come, but... All right, take no notice of Robert. No, no, it's not that. It's just... Nick, I'm sorry, this... It just don't feel right. Sorry. Robert? Is that all it is? <sighs> this was a stupid idea in the first place. Sorry. All this aggro can't be doing your back any favours. If your back is the real problem. Why? What else would it be? Oh, come on, let's not play games. Oh, do you know what? I've not got time for this. Not today. You said you wanted out. Take a step back. Next thing, you're giving advice to my staff and popping up everywhere I go. Oh, you think I'm following you? Oh, yeah, because I've got nothing else better to do, have I? We haven't. <sighs> We've had our moments. I, I, I know things have been difficult, but... Well, when it all comes down to it, I like you, and I, I didn't want to lose you. Yeah, well, you didn't get the choice. OK. OK, so we are playing games. Fine. At least we know where we stand. Just be careful. Don't back the wrong horse. Whoa, Leanne, will you just stop that for us, please? Sorry, I can't. I've done me back in. Oh, cheers. I'll give that one to Kirk. Enjoy your chips. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. <laughs> cheers. You're quiet, Billy. <laughs> well, I'm struggling to get a word in. I think he's worried you'll upset me. Oh, me? <laughs> John. Well, he forgets that uh, you don't get to this level in the church without uh, knocking a few heads from time to time. No, oh, your predecessor was the same. So, um, how often do you meet? Well, inclusive church, I, I take it you're involved. Uh, well, Todd's, um, just dipping his toe in. I'm, I'm pretty hopeful we'll snare him. Yes. Well, um, this is the question I'd pose back. To you and the doubters. Did we ever think we'd see the day? Gays coming out as Christians like it's their shameful secret. I mean, what do you guys do within your own communities to change attitudes to people of faith? Uh, on a personal level, or...? No, mm, every level. I take my hat off to folks like Ruth. Hunt? Stonewall, CEO. Oh, the, the CEO, the Ruth, yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's still room at the grassroots for people, committed people like you, Todd. Like I said, um, I think we've snared him. <clears throat> OK. Well, I'll keep my eye out for you. Oh, hi, Eva. It's just me. I was just hoping to speak to you before Sai got back. Um, don't get me wrong, he's not kicking off or anything. Just, uh, just really need to talk to you. Anyway, um, just give us a ring when you get this. OK, bye. Oh, hi. Hi, Ken. How's things? Uh, that's what Simon would like to know. I make me sound like a Dave, why don't you? Oh, heaven forbid you didn't make you care. I just bumped into him when we were chatting about this and that, and he's worried, Liam. If something was seriously wrong, would you tell him? Is this about the painkillers? The strongest tablets you can get, and even they don't work. Oh, yeah, because they make me sick. Is it cancer? Oh, you dafty. Come here. Come here. Fighting fit, honest. Apart from this stupid little twinge in my back that's making me walk like Mrs. Brady, old lady. <laughs> I'll be doing cartwheels by Sunday. You've been acting all weird. Well, some might say I've always been weird. No comment. I'm not ill. Hand on heart. And I know you worry because what happened to your mum, but you've no need. You're not going to lose us both, all right? What's for tea? <laughs> Thanks, Ken. See you, Simon. See you, Grandad. Uh, out there, he likes to act the big man. Oh, I know. <laughs> Here, 
He wants everything to stay the same, the world revolving around him. He's just a little boy who needs his mum. Yeah. See? Yeah, see, Ken. So, I said to Nick the thing about Leanne. Right, what do you reckon? In the magazines, it always looks great. Is it the size? No, they say random sizes, random colours. It's meant to look casual. Yeah, and take ten years off your life. I don't be so miserable. Maybe if we had a picture to compare it to. Oh, I saw one. Was it Jennifer Lawrence or Taylor Swift? No, I can't see Jennifer Lawrence having the patience, can you? I think I've got one upstairs. Look, I was telling you about Nick. Yes, and Leanne, I know. They're getting back together. Well, we don't know that, but she's always been a bit of an ed worker, so I said to him, look, just ask her. I mean, are you genuinely interested in her, or are you just treading water to some of better come along? Oh, I bet he loved that. Yeah, well, he's not getting any younger, is he, Nick? We can't afford to waste any more time. Couldn't think of that, neither can I. Look, are we almost done here? I'm absolutely judged out. I bet you wouldn't be saying that if it were Taylor Swift's cushions. <laughs> Oh, that's my cup. Well, gentlemen, it's been a really stimulated evening, <laughs> and I want to thank you. Nice to meet you. Yes, both of you. My pleasure. <laughs> oh, so can the uh, cab drop you off on my way home? No, thank you. Uh, I'm going to walk. It's not very far, but uh, thank you. OK, then, well, good night and God bless. God bless. Good night. <laughs> oh, I wasn't going to leave. <laughs> I thought you were going to stop talking. You know, it's not exactly how I pictured our first date. <laughs> He's a character, though, isn't he? Yeah, what about you? More front than Blackpool. Yeah, it was fun, though, wasn't it? I mean, when it was over. <laughs> eh, eh, who says it's over? I have got a stack of literature to share. Mm -hmm. Inclusive church, changing attitudes. Mm -hmm. There's enough to keep you engrossed for hours. You did good today. Well, it's good to see Gail happy. Yeah, for a bit. And it just gets nauseating. No. That's a shame. Mm. It's horrid. What's wrong? What's up? I like you, Todd. A lot. Mm. But I need to take things slow. You know, Sean doesn't have to know. No, it's not about Sean. It's me. It's just the way I am, even before the dog collar. <sighs> no problem. No. No. I can wait. Actually, it might be quite exciting. Mm. Well, I think so. Or it might just drive me crazy. Eva, hi. Hiya. Sai there. Oh, no, he's well asleep. Just been one of them days. I was just wondering when you're coming back. Oh, not for another fortnight yet. Milking it, babes. Why? Something up? No. No, no, nothing that can't wait. So, uh, Stella, what have you been up to? Sorry, uh, somebody at the door. Just give me a sec to see who it is. Hello? Oh, yeah, hi. Come up. Sorry, it's Nick. A bit late to be coming round. Can I call you back? Yeah, of course. Ciao for now. Yeah, bye. Hi. Hey, um... Sorry to call late, but... Uh, I was just wondering, uh, did I miss something today? No. Right, I, I didn't put any pressure on you. Uh, no, 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 you didn't. It was just a drink, you know, um... No big deal. I, I just want you to know I'm looking out for you. I know. You always do. I don't deserve it. You, you said it was a stupid idea. 
Is it someone else? No. Not... No. Okay. <laughs> you don't seem very certain. Don't string me along. Please, Leah. No, I'm not, I'm not. It's me. I'm just in a funny place right now. I, I don't really know what I want. I need to be around for Simon, but for how much longer, I don't know. And, well, it's just got me wondering, what am I for? Oh, right, OK. Well, I see you in a funny place. But uh, it's not long since Carla, so... Yeah, I know, and I get it. OK, I'm not your plan B. Don't make a fool out of me. I, I just need you to know that. Coming up, the ladies are back and Nita's got a tough decision to make with all new brief encounters. And over on ITV2, who is your winning couple? It's the live final of Love Island, next.